Hello dear friends today we'll be seeing a video on to how to create a database and how to create tables in a database how to insert entries into a database using MySQL on this Ubuntu server I've already installed MySQL now you go to the terminal window wherein MySQL is already installed so how do I provoke MySQL MySQL space hyphen u stands for user root user space hyphen p so a password will be prompted this password has to be set during the installation of MySQL make sure that you have some simple password which you can remember enter the password and now we are good to go all right so now if i want to see what all databases are there in my pcs i have to sh show databases always all the commands in my sql have to end by a semicolon so it will give you a list of all the databases in your system now amongst that let's say if I want to create a new database so I'll have create database B give any name to your database let's say it is B and a semicolon All right. so now a database with the name B is created now if I again have uh, if you need not type the commands again and again you simply can have the up arrow and it'll yeah see A B and ETRX these three databases are created by me but uh, in this particular session I created database B okay now next we have two out of these many databases in which database you want to work in so for that you have to specify use database B again a semicolon yeah so to change the database you have to give use and the name of the database followed by a semicolon so that will change the database so now currently we are working with database named B now in this database let's say if I want to create a table so the command for that is create table let's say the name of the table is books uh, I would like to remind you that my SQL is case insensitive so be it upper case or lower case it doesn't matter now books is the name of the table now we have to give attributes to that table so the first attribute that I'll give is book ID let's say that I'm assuming that the length of the book ID is fixed hence the domain type character of length 5 and this is also going to be my primary key the concept of primary key has been covered in the class it is that attribute of a table which uniquely identifies each and every entry of the table
next attribute the title of the book uh, let it be of the type where cas of length let's say 100 and this attribute cannot be a null not null specified if specified for an attribute means that there has to be a value for that particular attribute it cannot be left as null price of the book again this attribute I do not want it to be null each of the attributes are separated by a comma there are many attributes which you can add according to your sensibilities language again I'll have varchar of length 50 here I can also have default attribute value that is English means even if you do not enter any value for this particular attribute it will be taken as English and lastly let's say the author of the book even this cannot be a null value close the description with a semicolon and enter alright so now this you have created a table if you want to see how the table looks like so describe books with the semicolon so this is the entire description of your table books these are the attribute fields book ID title price language author these are the domain types of these attributes null which all attributes can be null which all need not be null primary key is your book ID and default values now one by one we enter entries of the table <coughs> in the same sequence of that of the attributes in the same sequence we enter the entries in order to enter the entries the command is insert into the table books in single inverted commas all the entries of or the values of the attributes have to be in single inverted commas so let's say book id is 20015 title of the book is let's say database then we have price of the book 500 or let's say 50 language English and author name of the author and semicolon oh uh, sorry it is um, 
insert into books that is the name of the table values <coughs> what values you want to enter and the same values hit enter uh, wait let us write it again insert into books values Okay, so these values will have now entered into the table. We'll again see. We want to see what are the contents of the table. Then select asterisk. Asterisk stands for all, all the entries. From the table books. So as you can see, this is my first entry of the book. Likewise, we can enter the second entry of the book. <coughs> Let's say now this is about signals. Let this be of 100 rupees and language Hindi Alright Enter So one more entry has been inserted Let us see whether our table has been updated Okay, so this is how you will be inserting the entries in the table. To come out of MySQL, you have to press exit.